This is episode 29 of the Paris Jones Show. I'm your host, Paris Jones. Let's get into it. You guys are getting a two for one today, man. I uploaded a episode earlier, but I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm in, the, I'm in a good mood today, so uh wanted to get this episode out too. Today's episode, as you see by the title, Social Proof. And I don't have any notes for this. I'm kind of just going off the dome here. I'm freestyling. Uh, this is a topic that's been on my mind uh, for a while now, but it really hit home yesterday when I saw this video on Twitter. Um, it was uh, Bryson Tiller. Um, you guys know him as the, the singer who has a song, Don't. It's crazy because this is a massive hit record. This is like his breakout song. And he said when he first came up with it, he deleted the song because it wasn't getting the reaction that he thought it would. So he said he sent it to like five people and they were like, meh, like basically, you know, it wasn't that good. So he was like, all right, well, it must suck. So he deleted it. And uh, eventually he said one of his uh, one of his friends was playing it for people on campus at a college and they were all really liked it. And he put it back up and, you know, lo and behold, like later on, the, the song blew up. And it just makes me think how, like, first of all, you have to listen to your gut when your gut says something about whatever you're doing and not listen to other people. But two, a lot of times people won't support you in the way that you want them to, friends, family, whatever, until they see other people doing it. And I have a similar video to this um, that talks about how some people will support you privately, but not publicly. And he talks, Bryson Tiller talks about that in the interview where he says that he had a lot of people supporting him in the shadows. And I feel like if you're on a journey, uh, creative journey or whatever it is, you're going to have people who support you in the shadows, but like they won't do it publicly. And I don't like when people do this. And he said this as well, because it's like, bro, you don't know how much it takes for somebody to put something out to the world where they can be critiqued online, whether it's a show like this, whether it's music, whether it's acting, um, whatever it is, and you can be critiqued. It's very difficult to do that. It's, it's hard because you're already fighting yourself. But then like when people don't even acknowledge it publicly, you're like, huh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But they'll speak to you in private from the shadows and say like, hey, I see what you're doing. Keep going, blah, blah, blah. But you're not even showing it to other people, but you like it. But at the same time, if you like something from a celebrity, it's all over your page. Social proof. People need to see that other people support you before they can. And I don't like that our society is this way, but it's the reality. So sometimes, and I wish I had somebody who told me this when I was first starting out and getting discouraged with people, uh, about situations, is that sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's your audience. Sometimes the audience is not going to acknowledge you until they see more people do it. And a lot of times when you're starting out anything, if you start out a business, you're going to what? You're going to start off with people you know first, right? But they're not really giving the reaction that you're looking for. Um, and eventually it forces you to branch out. And when those people acknowledge you like, huh, I haven't really changed anything. What's, what's different? It was your audience. It wasn't you. It was your audience that changed. And that's why. Sometimes the people that you have around you are so close that they can't see what you're doing or they don't want to acknowledge it because deep down they have secret animosity towards you. And so they're not going to help you pro propel you higher or elevate. And some will, but a lot won't. They will, again, support from the shadows. They'll, they'll be inspired by you from the shadows. They'll copy you from the shadows secretly. They'll move differently in the, sh in the shadows. But they won't acknowledge you. They won't tell you that you inspired them. They won't tell you that they are copying your moves or, or moving differently because they saw what you're doing. This is just, I think it's just human nature. And people who do this a lot of times don't have their own personality. They can't think for themselves. So they have to wait for other people to think for them. They have to wait for other people to show them like, oh yeah, you are dope, yeah. That's why you see a lot of times with artists, like they don't really blow up until they have that celebrity cosign, which is which is crazy to me, you know, or they'll support artists or or other people who aren't even that talented or that good just because other people, they say, well, so-and-so is supporting them, so they must be good. The whole time that person is garbage or their content isn't good, but because they see other people doing it, then they're going to hop on board. And that's just how life is. You, They need social proof. They need to see other people are supporting something before they hop on that train. Me personally, 
if I think something's dope, I think something's dope and I'm going to tell you and I'm going to rock with you. I don't care who you are. But a lot of people who are NPCs, who can't think for themselves, who don't have their own personality, they cannot do that. They're not capable of thinking for themselves. So they have to wait and see other people support something before they can. And I just wanted to, this is a brief message, but I just wanted to put that out for anybody who is maybe feeling discouraged today about what they're doing and they're not getting the acknowledgement they, they, they feel like they should have, like Bryson Taylor talked about in that video. Sometimes it's not you, it's the audience. And when that changes, things will change for you.